hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. Time to explore this swamp! Now that we already have a fort. And, uh... I guess we're heading there. We just wanna take over, uh, Tuzla Castle. And have a chat with Coldwell. <clears throat> Standard battle? Not much has changed. Basically the same deck, except, uh... Isbel is now a damage dealer. <clears throat> If it's a standard battle, then I'm not gonna mulligan round bomb. What? Block drone, cat can. Sure. My spirit's willing and how, but these dumb boots are killing me. Green, just the lowest enemy units by one. Nice, annoying. Oh, yeah, I'll just do the burn value. A little annoying gem. Uh, let's go with the drummer. Left, right. Pull these guys into the fire. Right. Wait. It goes through shield. It deals HP damage right away. It's not the best. Okay. Getting to work. Have it the white of an eye from half a league away. Maybe we're just gonna kill all of these. Should discourage him. Now that's probably gonna be a pass. <clears throat> I have a choice of playing right now. Playing next turn. Let's all, let's just play next turn. Two units. Fine. Probably wanna play. Ugh, we can mulligan. I don't really care about it. We play a drummer again and again and, and again. Maybe a sideman. Still got money in there. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. That's kind of coin big. never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Yeah, thirty points. That could be dangerous. Um, I don't really want to push this. He needs to do 14 points. Actually, no, he's doing a card here for sure. Fine, but he lost the card. Okay. Those are good options. So, we kick back the Slingers. <laughs> Okay, how many slingers I'm gonna have there? So, Isbold Destroyer. Um, leading assignments are something that I would prefer to play early. I can play the bomber a little later. Just get Delirium Merlot. I'm gonna play that last anyway. Hi. So we do Lyrian Sightman, uh, first three rounds, then probably some drummers. Be pretty easy. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Oh no! And the High Duke. This harvest will be reaping um, black clad heads. I just hit the guys in the back now. Ah! As much as I want to set up uh, the fire, fine for now. I can just go to drummer in the back. Always a waste of time for one like me. Oh, actually, we can get out the blitz unit, and we have to. 
That sucks. He's a damaged bronze enemy. You mad? Don't shake that. Right, set the moon fire. Should be still decent. Again, I just I just didn't lose a fight for so long, so I'm not sure it's gonna happen. It's actually a good combo with the drainers, because they hit through the shield and it takes shield damage. Very soon. Please build a destroyer. Left, right, left. During right. this battle. Oh my god. If it's a three round battle, then it's even more ridiculous. That's <clears throat> quite popular, apparently. Again and again and again. Fine. Sure. Can he seize that too? Oh my god. Wait. Is he not seizing it? For some reason not. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Uh, pointy end upwards, right? Sure. Think about slings, they hide well. Um. We gotta play Isabel the Destroyer. We can just pass. It's but I'm kind of curious to see as well. Away. Let's see how much damage she can do. So, currently my enemy has 65 points. And if I press as well... <laughs> he just loses the game on the spot. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Isabel is okay. As a healer or a damager, it works either way. Jesus Christ, what is that? That could be a solution to this. All the boss battles now. And Isabel seemed to like me quite a lot, so. Probably he's not, she's not gonna leave. Oh, I'll just pick it up. Oh my god. We found the part of a shield. Well, we gotta. Yeah, fix the bridge. Why would I try to find another path if it only takes me 50 wood? Oh, that's a puzzle. <gasps> I can't wait to completely ignore that. Alright, let's go the other way. And go for some of the fights. What is this? Some weird looking drowner. Another standard battle. But it's the same. Should I try to avoid the standard battles? We can do that. Actually, I kind of fucked up. I shouldn't have mulliganed round one. Um, this is a different Gwent. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Ancient Foglet. Oh, nice. French rain. This artist will be reaping black clad heads. I'm not even sure how good is torrential rain here. I guess we'll see. Is that damage everything by one? Seems like it. Left, right, left, right. 
I think the background fire seems Ever pretty good. Knock out one of your teeth. You mad? Don't shake that. I guess I won't be moving him too much. Won't he pass? Oh, nice. Snack from that. Oh! I guess I need to use the ability right away. Do the drummer. Again and again and again. He's passing. That is the white of an eye from half a league away. I'm just hit the beef too. Just to make sure that this happens. Wait, what? I only used the unit, right? Didn't I? No, I need to do high duke. Whatever. Left, right, left. No, uh, I think maybe the auto passed. Whatever. We're just not gonna play next turn. <sighs> We're still gonna have a max run, max long run free. Maybe I should try to avoid the fights at this point, because they're so damn easy, right? Unless we have a reason for fighting. That I really don't right now. The incitement plus. Um, this is fine. <laughs> it's about the destroyer. What did he do? Alright. Like the guy that ate it. Four. Fine. The last one is the one I would like to replace. Yeah. My spirit's willing and how we have to hit right away. Else there's a chance. But it gets stolen. This could hurt. Yeah. Got destroyed right away. Oh <gasps> no. How dare you? There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Okay, Gascon is a twenty-five. That's not bad. Maybe we're gonna use Blitz here. Maybe not this round. Actually, we can use it this round. Hi. Army's a waste of time for one like me. You might steal that. But if I was to use that, then I need to. Get it out this round. Okay, four units are in the deck. <clears throat> and I'm not really having the best of luck here with my drummers. Left, right, left, right. Four moves. But the burn it well the back is burning to death, so it's kinda of fine. Oh. Oh my god, it's gonna trigger. Oh. Not the best. So we can get at the guy. Can be a blitz. Probably won't be. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Sure. Thing about slings, they hide well. That's kind of pretty huge. 
Stray Slinger. No! As ordered. Oh. Let's give them some charges. And, uh... We can hit the back, maybe. Any bigger guy, that's probably what we want to hit. Although killing the Katakam would be nice. Charge. We're gonna have uh, three more hits. Uh oh. Odo. Got this. Discipline shall bring us victory! I don't have enough targets. Annoying, not very dangerous. Uh, we need to use the flail, that's for sure. Ah! Go with Gascon. He's pretty big. Coin never stinks, no matter 48 how points. Yeah, he can't win. This guy goes for every opponent. <laughs> So well, that's a pretty good combo, Duke of Dogs. 53 points. And of course all the movement that we're doing. Oh my god, wood and gold. How amazing is that? It is not. We can just uh, start scouting here. Points of interest. What? From Foltus, King of Temeria, Pontar, Mahakam, Sodden, and Angram? Really? The Nelf Guardians have breached our defenses. I am ordering a complete retreat to Temeria and Brug via the shortest routes. Do not confront Nelf Guardian forces, except in cases of direct attack or attempts at disarmament. All should negotiate the withdrawal of garrisons for each town they reach. Okay, let's go back. Go! Put in gold, what we have here. Point of interest. <clears throat> Milady, something made of precious metal shimmers on the floor of the swamp. It could be ancient elven treasure. We can attempt to pull it out, but we must be prepared for the worst. These waters are not the safest. Such is a soldier's life to, to take such risks. We must get our hands on those riches. <laughs> Gold! I don't care about gold, but I don't care about morale, but I care about wood. So, I guess we're gonna trade helmets for gold. <laughs> oh, here we go. Perfect. Helmets for gold. It's done. What else are we looking for? Uh, let's go back here. Oh. Uh, the puzzle. That I will ignore. What else we got here? Pick it up. We got this guy dwar uh, guarding treasure. I think we're just gonna ignore that too. We're gonna play like a real queen now. I'm swimming in gold. There's nothing the to be gained by regular Russia. fights. As Meeve and her scouts conferred about the proper path to take, 
A footman, of a sudden, collapsed upon the muddy ground. His comrades strove to rouse him. Alas, to no avail. Meave called for a medic. One arrived, post-haste. He checked for wounds, a heartbeat, all else for which a medic checks. Then he peered down the soldier's throat. In a flash, he was on his feet, his hand over his mouth, backing away. What's with him? What's wrong? The Queen asked, her eyes darting between the medic and his patient. Typhus exanthematicus, your grace, replied the physician, wiping his hands with a spirit-soaked cloth. Typhus fever. Contagious? Extremely, I fear. Though not yet at this stage. The spots are but in his mouth for now. Tomorrow he'll be blotched all over. It's then the disease turns infectious. I see. What about a cure? Is one known? The medic looked at Meave, shook his head and shrugged. Alas, there was precisely naught he could do. But where medicine fails, magic may at times stand in. Without giving it two thoughts, Meave called for Isbel. It's Typhus, I've no doubt. The healer confirmed. I know a spell that could be helpful. Vigil's cleansing, we call it. It takes time to prepare and many ingredients. Rather costly, or... I got the gold. Do it. Coins, no object, said Meave. Get to work at once. Isbel returned from the local herbalist with herbs valuable and rare. Fern blossoms, mandrake root, comfrey seeds and more. She then pulled from her bundle a variety of vessels, funnels, retorts, alembics, carafes. Colored concoctions she then brewed. Steam and strange odors rising from them. Hours later, after much effort, she had a few drops of a thick substance in a flask. Isbel whispered an incantation, then gave the remedy to the dying man. His tremors and fever subsided at once, the other symptoms fading within hours. At last, Meave could breathe a deep sigh of relief. This is great! We could help him, so we did! Oh, the morale went up. A lot. Not, not, not a lot. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, one guy didn't die. Well, I guess that's not bad. That's, that's kind of nice. Tis a land of monsters. Belongs to them, it does. Human. Peasant, what's up? Your Majesty, merchant named Vanslav Maribor has requested that you hear his plea. His horses died of some unknown affliction, leaving his wagon of goods stuck in a swamp. He's prepared to sell his entire stock at a reduced price. He wishes to cut his losses and get out of anger as soon as possible. What is your response? Get wood. Nah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay. I, I want his wood, for sure. I, I like that. Because that's... That's the one thing that I might actually use for something, but let's be real. I most likely won't. And what is this? Can we scout it? Apparently there's still some stuff over here. Yeah, whatever. Some dead guy died in the marsh. I mean, just uh, some some guy. Pick up the stuff. Hmm. All right. I don't want to do the puzzle. I got nothing to spend my resources on. Come on, game. Why would you do this to me? Mm, yeah, let's go this way. Um, For no visible reason, well, we the got some monks. column came to a halt. Meave stood in her stirrups in a bid to see the cause. Something had blocked the way, it seemed. Something large. A tree felled by a storm, or an abandoned wagon, the Queen thought. Neither was true. A boulder huge as a barn lay in their path. Footmen had slung ropes around it, planted their feet, and now sought to pull it aside. Did not budge an inch. Perhaps I could assist you. Meave turned in her saddle on hearing the voice. Several travelers in faded robes warily crept from the trees. 
A young woman with long, light-colored hair led the way. You don't much resemble a rock troll, said the queen, eyeing the slender stranger skeptically. But go on, do try. The fair-haired lass crouched beside the stone, closed her eyes, and began to whisper. Horses whinnied and tugged at their reins. A hound howled in the distance. And then, the boulder rolled to the side like an apple crossed the deck of a boat rocked by seas. Who are you? Do tell. A druid. Came her calm response. This stone. It stood in our circle. The woman silently turned toward the wood. Me followed her gaze, and among the trees saw other large stones, cracked and scorched. Do you like stones, huh? What happened here? We refused the Nilfgaardians' aid. Answered the druid. So they raised our shrines. Though, perhaps it's a blessing. A blessing? How so? A darkness fell upon Angren a time past. And it grows. The forest turns savage, its creatures drunk on blood. Folk have come to worship other cruel gods. It's time we abandoned this land forsaken and went south to Kedmerkvid. Come with me, instead. You may join us if you wish. Our path leads south too, though not as far, said the queen. Do join us. Given the times, there's safety in numbers. The druids agreed and were grateful. They walked at the rear of the column, muttering prayers, their faces concealed beneath hoods. Oh, this could be bad. I, I would have insisted on you helping me. Well, by just showing your face. That would be nice. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you're taking a chance on people, that's... You know, they might take advantage, you know? Who knows? Maybe the Nilf Guardians will snuck a spy in. Because I'm a do gooder now, but what can I do? Just because there's a chance that's gonna happen, it doesn't mean I'm just gonna... I don't know. Actually, we need allies, so... Just gotta take a chance, right? This is a logging zone. Any attempt to impede operations will be treated as sabotage, thus subject to punishment of the highest order. Hmm. But we can scout here. We see more stuff. Pick up. Point of interest. Me picking up stuff. <laughs> Maybe I picked up too many, too much stuff before, and now I'm just super rich. What's the problem? I don't think so. But it's a little disturbing that I'm basically invincible on the highest difficulty. Of the game. I can make a crappier army, but. I don't think that would be more fun. I do want to check out the points of interest. So we're doing that. For sure. <gasps> Nilf Guardian! Lumberjack Camp! Hey, what's up, guys? Angren lies thousands of leagues from the sea. Yet the Imperial fleet looked chiefly to this land for wood, its ashes and oaks ideal for shipbuilding. The lumber was driven down the Yoruga to shipyards in Sintra and Atra. There, day and night, Nilfgaard's fleet grew and grew. So when Meave heard axes steadily hacking, the continual grind of saws, she halted her force and quickly dispatched scouts. Indeed, they found a lumber camp, banners overhead, the great sun blazing upon them. Though not critical to her mission, Meave was nonetheless tempted to disrupt the invader however she could. This is what I'm talking about, like... They invade you and they take over your resources, like... If you can prevent that... Then yes, it's gonna be pretty damn handy. The I just attacked the camp. A mass flow of logs. Called the queen, drawing her sword. But we shall send him corpses. Formation, follow me. What? Short battle. 
Okay. Got it. No. It's kind of good. Maybe we don't need Gascon. This is pretty okay. Lyrian! Sure. Something about Lyrians? This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Well, we can just uh, wait. Wise choice. My spirit's willing and how but actually we have good morale now. Good luck taking me out. We can set him on fire. We can do blitz. And uh these units are blitz worthy. Oh maybe do blitz. Royal Decree. You can just place down a drummer. Right. Left. Then right. we do a blitz. Right. Angren's gold is not yours to plunder. Be gone! Come on, Meave. Let me do my thing. That is the white of an eye from half a league away. Again and again and again. I can just possibly do this. Just to make sure that the stray slinger does something. Maybe he set him on fire, who knows. Kind of works. I can just play a drummer. That's kind of nice. Bigger they are, easier they are to tap. Okay, I'll just play the drummer. Army's wasted time. For Actually, I like probably it. should play the slingers next to each other. Twenty-two damage. Isabel Destroyer is just ridiculous in every scenario. I know that fire seems to be a little broken for s some reason. When I play the fire, sometimes the opponent just like, oh, no, that effect is making me think super hard. Like, not like I have a PC from, uh, pre I don't line. know, like 20 euro PC as well. So I, I, I know, I don't, I don't already know what the hell is going on with that fire. It's not too bad, but sometimes it's a little weird. Just get out the guy. Gascon is decent. Nothing personal, I assure you. I can play a drummer. Left, right, left, right. I'll just hit these guys. For every two units destroyed, boost self by two six and damage all units by two. On his side? Seems like it. Nerf Guardian Braveheart. Ooh. I'm bring it on. <laughs> That's gonna be a finisher. Fine by me. The Braveheart is gonna get one shot. Place it next thing about slings, they hide well. Catch! Sure. Damages all enemy units by two. Double fire! Let's see if we can keep up with this. 
Oh, come on, opponents. Make you move. This is supposed to be a short battle. Then we got to do Odo. Uh, gain some extra charges. Not exactly sure what to do with it. Damage ally by four. Okay, pretty good. So, I got access to the movers. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Guess he's gonna hit me again. A lot of units are going to blow up. Okay, for two. Yeah, killing that guy would be nice. But, eh. We're still okay. It's gonna be the last play. At least we'll destroy her. Do 126 damage. Okay, sure. Um, I'm pretty sure he can. Uh, Used to be, I hunted game. Deal with that. Men bring more coins. Actually, stealing that is going to be harmful to me. Oh, I'm gonna play Isbul Destroyer. When will you ever learn? The highest I have is not the best, but it's still okay. Keeps hitting me. And we hit the Nilfgaardian Braveheart. Just to enable a boost on these Sightmen. And Delirium Merlot. 31. And we have 157 damage. Everything is deleted. <laughs> that's an okay card, you know? That's that's an okay card. Come on, do don't lose hope, you can do it. Oh yeah, that's the card that you should have killed earlier. But you didn't. And now we won. Nilfgaard's ranks folded, soldiers fled in fright, stumbling over felled trees and corpses. The air was heavy with the scent of resin and blood. As she caught her breath, the queen looked about. Hundreds of trees lay cut down in rows. Oak and ash enough to keep the shipyards working till winter. Neve ordered the lumber requisitioned. Yet one of the loggers approached her. A man with a face like old leather, sawdust in his hair. Good lady. I know you war hard against Nilfgaard. I know you'd keep timber out of their hands. But then see, we won't get paid. We'll see no coin till Sintra's shipyard see lumber. It's what the black lad said. I beg you, have mercy. We're simple folk. Been slaving since spring, got families to feed. And hunger looms ever close in wartime. Well, sell the wood to someone else. Sell the lumber to someone else. I don't know if it... Requisition the wood? I'm gonna pay for the wood, then take it. Neve looked at the logger's hands. Thick scars, crisscrossed fingers twisted by years of axe work. This wood I cannot allow to reach Nilfgaardian shipyards. She said. Yet neither can I let you go hungry. I shall take the wood and pay you from my own purse. How about that? That sounds like an amazing solution. Right? Isn't beef the best? Maybe you guys can work for me and I, I can have this uh, sweet ass shipyard. Where you guys uh, work for very low wages. <coughs> well, let's just say competitive. Competitive wages. 
Yeah, that's the word. And it's also not slave labor, it's... Um, uh, I don't know the word for it right now. Oh, they're here. They, they want to be here. This guy just said that they just want to get paid, right? Alright, let's... Oh my god. There's still more stuff to take. Why don't you Why guys just the pick up the stuff that's on the ground? Like, so much money. I'm a little disturbed by that. You guys just like, oh yeah, I don't feel like picking that up. But I'm starving. Come on, look at the ground. That's how I make my money, guys. Just pick up gold on the ground. That's how I become a... Well, I have some gold. I'm not sure if that's a lot, but that's all we got. And it seems enough. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.